All right, so we're going to have a quick chat about latitude and longitude. So we're not going to do the old story about what it looks like on a globe. We're just focusing on a, the types of latitude and longitude questions that you're going to see in an exam type situation. So all you need to be familiar with is maps, which are fairly simple at times. Um, if we're talking about an, an exam that you're likely to see in school, which has got values and lines all over the map and we're going to use those to interpret latitude and longitude. The general idea is that latitude is a measurement um, north or south of the equator. So what we should be looking for when we are asking about latitude is the flat lines, the horizontal lines on a map. So you can see on this map here over China we've got a couple of horizontal lines. They're two bits of latitudinal information and they've got values. This one here says 20 degrees north and 40 degrees north. So we can tell their latitude lines, not only because they lay flat or horizontal, it's the fact that they're showing us a measurement north of the equator. So latitude um, talks about being north or south of the equator. Longitude um, are the vertical lines that we see on a map. So these vertical lines tell us how far east or west of the prime meridian. And these lines are called meridians. So the prime one is the one we measure from. And that is located in um, Greenwich in England, basically London. So we want to have a look at the longitude lines and we'll write about them second in our responses. And we just use the values which are associated with them. 80 degrees east, 100 degrees east. 120 degrees east. So with longitude you can either be east or west of the prime meridian. So we need to find first of all, depending on what the question is asking us, the latitude using the horizontal lines and then the longitude using the values and lines which are vertical. So let's have a look at two possible exam style questions. And these are our basic style latitude and longitude questions. So, what is the latitude and longitude of Tianjin? Tianjin is one of the labelled cities on this map. So I apologise if it's too small for you to see, but I'll talk you through it anyway. So what I first want to look at, and it's actually hinted at in the question, is we always do latitude first. Okay, and if we need to remind ourselves we're either north or south. We're not going to look at any values which talk about east or west first. So here's Tianjin. We're looking at the middle of the circle or the dot. And we're first going to look at these latitude lines. Now, if it happens to sit on one of the latitude lines, it's going to have that value. But if it sits somewhere between, we'll have to estimate its value. So at the moment, this line says 20 and this line says 40. The halfway point I'm going to assume that the value is halfway, so I'm going to say halfway is 30 degrees north. I can narrow it down further just so I can be as precise as possible. So I'm looking for the latitude just below 40, but I know it's between 30 and 40. Halfway between 30 and 40 would be 35 degrees north. I'm narrowing it down. So I can see it's between 35 and 40. And I might, I'll just pick a different colored pen for this. I might quickly do some graduation. So I've got 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then we got to 40. So which one do I think it's closest to? Probably the 39 degree line. So I'm going to write 39 degrees and it's in the Northern Hemisphere. So I put an N. The next thing I look at is the longitude. And remember, these are the vertical lines and we're looking at east or west for longitude. So if I look at the two longitude lines that Tianjin sits between, that's the 100 and 120 line, I can see it's very much closer to the 120. So let's go through the same process. I'll do it a bit quicker. So between 100 and 120, halfway would be 110. Halfway between 110 and 120 would be 115. So if I look at this as carefully as I can, and I might just grab my ruler, which is hiding. If I lined up, and I'm just going to draw a line 
where Tianjin meets my scale. That's this new line that I've drawn here. It's between 115 and 120, but slightly closer to 115. So again, I would say to myself, well, there's 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. And in that case, I would say it looks closest to 117. 117 degrees, and we're in the Eastern Hemisphere. So that's how I would express my answer. And the clue to which one goes first is even written in the um, question itself. So please don't write your answer backwards. And this is the wrong version. I'll put it in brackets. 117 degrees east, 39 degrees north. That's wrong because it's around the wrong way. And please don't substitute the um, hemispheres around. So the, what sometimes we see another wrong answer as kids might write 117 degrees north and 39 degrees east because they've got the hemispheres around the wrong way. Easy mistake to make, but it will lead to an incorrect answer. Here's a multiple choice question for us to look at. What feature can be found at 22 degrees north, 90 degrees east? So we are being given the latitude and longitude here, and we're going to have to narrow down and find the best answer from these four. Now, in some questions, if I add an extra word here, we don't even have to look at the map to narrow down the answers. If I said to you, what natural feature can be found at this latitude and longitude? Straight away, I'd be able to cross out B, Beijing, because Beijing is a city and it's not a natural feature. Or if it said, what human-made feature? Without looking at the map, I'd be able to knock out the Pacific Ocean, the river, and a bay is a body of water, so that's a natural feature as well. So if, if that said what human feature can be found, I wouldn't even have to look at the map. But in this case, it doesn't specify man-made or natural feature. So we're going to have to use our knowledge of latitude and longitude. So the first number is always latitude, and the memory tool is lats lay flat, so we're looking at the flat or horizontal lines first. So I need to find where 22 degrees would be. This line here at the bottom of the map is the 20 degree line, and I've already marked up here is 30 degrees. So I might use my ruler, and I'm going to use my purple pen, and I'm going to rule a line which I think is about 22 degrees. So if I put my ruler where I think 22 is, and I put a line across in purple, then I'm going to do the same with longitude with 90 degrees east. So I look at my longitude lines, it might be easy to see them up here, 80, 100, 120. It's going to be between 80 and 100. Actually, it's going to be halfway between. So if I get my ruler, place it about halfway between the 80 and the 100, and I rule a line. You don't have to draw these lines, by the way. I'm just trying to make it visually appealing in the video. I can see where my latitude and my longitude intersect. I actually meet up at the Bay of Bengal. So I'm not over here in the Pacific Ocean, which was still at 22 degrees, but it didn't have the right longitude of 90 degrees east. So I'm going to cross that one out. Beijing is nowhere near either of these lines. Here's Beijing. So I'm going to cross that out. And the Yellow River, well, this is the Yellow River here. Again, nowhere near those lines. And we've said that if I connect those two lines, we end up at the Bay of Bengal. That's it.